Hello everyone. Welcome to Arpita's Leisure Time. Today we will be learning a traditional form of hand embroidery. We will learn to do chain stitch and feather stitch today. These are extremely traditional stitches which can be done on kurtis, saris, blouse, salwar kameez anywhere and it looks awesome. So let's quickly learn these two types of stitches which are really very easy to do. This is a sample of chain stitch and this is feather stitch. So let's learn how to do it. For beginners I would suggest before starting you can draw parallel lines with the, scale, with the help of your ruler. You can draw these lines on the cloth piece on which you are doing and on that you can start your stitching. Once you get into the practice of doing these, you can easily start. So let's get started. For chain stitch, you will just need to insert the needle the way I'm doing it here. Then you will reinsert the needle at the point right in front of the thread. Then you need to gently take it out and carefully wind the thread like the way I have done over here. Pull it out gently. Be very gentle while pulling out the thread because if you are too harsh with it, it will all get tangled and it won't look good. So this gives you the first loop of the chain. When reinserting the needle, keep in mind that you are reinserting the needle from inside the loop that has been made just prior to it. This gives you the second loop and this is how you Keep continuing. Each time you make a loop, you insert the needle from the tip of the immediate last. Then you wind the thread across the needle and pull it out gently. This is the way you do your chain stitching. Isn't this easy friends? This is really easy and this type of uh, traditional stitches really gives your dress a different type of a If you are doing it on, uh, on the border of a sari or the sleeve of your blouse will have to take two to three threads together in order to make it look little bold. This is a small tip. You can adjust the number of threads according to the design. In order to save time, I have made one sample over here. If you continue stitching like this, you will get it like this. Now let's come to feather stitching. For feather stitch, for bigness, I would suggest you to draw three parallel lines. These three lines will help you to maintain the uniform size of each feather stitches. You need to insert the needle from the middle line. Insert it at a point which is in between the two lines. Then you will again reinsert the needle at a point which is at the middle of the other two lines. You will have to make an eye estimation whether it is falling at a straight line or not and then you will take out the needle from the point I have shown over gently pull it out. For so the 
this type of stitch also I would request you not to be too harsh while pulling the thread. Please be gentle otherwise it will be very very tiny. Make an eye estimation that the point from which you will insert the needle now should fall at a straight line. You insert it then pull it out reinsert it from the point I am doing it and insert the needle from the loop that was already filled. Each time you do it you will have to keep in mind that the point through which you are bringing out the needle and the point through which you are inserting the needle should fall at a straight line otherwise it will not look good very very crooked. The uniformity is only maintained if you have a good eye estimation and to maintain a straight line. Then only it will look neat. So if you continue like this you will get a stitch which very much resemble that of a feather bird feather that is why probably the stitch is called a feather stitch you should continue like this here also you see in order to save time I have made a sample stitch over here keep on doing like this and you will get a feather stitch and chain stitch. I hope you have enjoyed learning this uh, these two type of traditional stitches. If you find this video interesting or good, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions, please do mention it in the the comment section it will really help me to grow and help my channel to grow as well all your feedback are really very very inspiring for me thank you so much for your kind attention and hope to meet again very soon thank you and goodbye